What is up guys, Mike Wang here. It's been a while since I've done a market update video on YouTube, so in this video, I'll be covering Bitcoin and Ethereum, but I'll also make sure to cover some alts that look good right now in the videos to come. So before we begin, please make sure to smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm and don't forget to subscribe as well. So before we dive into the weekly chart, I want to briefly explain a technical concept to help your understanding of what I am seeing for this market. So when we say that Bitcoin is moving in an uptrend, it's never really moving in straight lines. According to the Elliott Wave theory, the price goes through phases of impulse moves and corrective moves. So instead of moving up in a straight line, it goes up and down and up and down. And the basic waves that consist of impulse and corrective moves are the one, two, three, four, five impulse wave and the ABC corrective wave. So once we see these five waves play out, there's a corrective wave. And then after these corrective waves, there's another one, two, three, four, five wave going up and then another corrective wave. And from a bigger picture, these waves constitute one bigger impulse move. So here we see the smaller waves in blue and then the bigger waves that demonstrate the larger trend in red. And um, with this understanding, we can now move on to the weekly chart. Over here, I have assigned the wave counts that I am seeing for the Bitcoin chart on the weekly. And we can see that uh, based on the wave count, we are somewhere approximately at this level right here, looking to complete the final impulse wave, the final fifth wave, uh, possibly moving up to the 204,000 region uh, until next year, 2022, uh, sometime around May or June. Um, but just looking at what we have on the weekly chart right now, this is the Elliott wave count that I'm seeing. So the overall trend is very, very bullish. Uh, that's the only thing you need to keep in mind for now. We can also see that the price is currently trading above the 60 moving average on the weekly. It has bounced on the 60 moving average support, just like it did in the past as well. And the 200 moving average, which has acted as very, very significant cycle bottoms for Bitcoin, is also moving below the 60 moving average. So overall, the uptrend is still intact and everything is moving upwards as planned, despite the crazy volatility and price action on the micro scale. What we can also see on the weekly is that the RSI is at neutral levels and the MACD has recently formed a golden cross and continues to form larger bullish histograms. And I anticipate that this uh, size of the histogram on the MACD will continue to increase as uh, we see time pass. Uh, the TRIX indicator as well is forming a, a golden cross and with a continuation in the uptrend, we could see the golden cross confirm on this indicator as well. So overall, what we can tell from the weekly chart is that the overall uptrend is still intact as we initially uh, analyzed it to be. So moving on to the daily chart, um, we've been talking about how this was an accumulation zone. I've been talking about this over and over on my Twitter page and my tel uh, trading view page as well, how this would be a phase of reaccumulation before we break out to retest all time high levels again. And um, thankfully, I was right about this and we are currently trading above the 200 moving average on the daily chart, which is actually a very important indicator on the daily. What's also important to know is that we have been trading in a parallel channel here, forming higher lows and higher highs, but we have sort of broken out of that parallel channel. So we'll take a closer look at that on the four hour chart. Another thing to notice is how we have strong uh, resistance at the 0 0.236 Fibonacci retracement level. So we have been rejected by that level. And now it's time to see to what extent we might correct down to. So let's dive right into the four hour chart, taking a closer look at the price action uh, of Bitcoin within the parallel channel. So this is the parallel channel that we were seeing on the daily uh, zoomed in, and we can take a closer look at how uh, there are reactions to resistance and support marked by green and red. So um, there's rejection to the uh, channel's resistance level, 
over here and we can see the price bouncing off support from the channel support and this has continued onwards and onwards until we recently broke down from the parallel channel so there are three probable cases that i have in mind here for now so uh, the first case is one where we see a rejection a retest of the 0 0.618 retracement and rejection from that level just as we have been rejected uh previously in um, on the 21st of August, sorry, the 23rd of August. And uh, we would see a correction moving down to either the 46.5K level or the 44K level. But I would say that the 44K level is much less probable than a rejection down to the 46K level. Uh, another more bullish probability that I have in mind is one where we see a uh, reverse head and shoulders continuation pattern as we can see here this would be the formation of the left shoulder this would be the formation of the head and the right shoulder so what we could see is a reverse head and shoulders continuation pattern forming and us seeing a breakout up to reclaiming the uh, 0.618 resistance and the channel support uh, only to move up to retest local highs of 55k before we can move on to retest the previous all-time high so on the four hour chart this would be something i would be looking for i will be looking for confirmations either as rejections uh, from the resistance level or a break and close above the resistance level and determining whether Bitcoin can move back into the parallel channel where we can see the formation of higher lows and higher highs continuing upwards. So now let's move on to Ethereum's chart. We're not going to take a very deep look at Ethereum. Uh, we're just going to take a look at the daily chart because the weekly chart that I shared with you guys on my YouTube video is still valid. So if you haven't seen that video yet, make sure to go and check that out first. Um, and on the week, on the daily chart, sorry, the first thing we can see is this major trend line that has been acting as support and resistance. So we can see the reaction at support uh, and the reaction, the reaction at resistance here as well. And we have managed to break through this line again. So based on this trend line over here, we could say that. Um, Ethereum was at an overbought region uh, at around this point, and since it was trading below this trend line uh, from June to the beginning of August, we can say that this would have been a very good buy zone. And this was indeed a reaccumulation zone, just like uh, that of Bitcoin as well. And what we can also see here is the ascending triangle structure. This is a very, very bullish structure that we commonly see before breakouts where bears manage to barely keep the resistance line while bulls manage to move upwards, push prices further upwards, forming higher lows. Um, and this is a consolidation pattern that is currently happening between the 0 0.5 Fibonacci support and the 0 0.618 Fibonacci resistance. Now, since everything, even the patterns are based on probabilities, there's no guarantee that this is going to pop upwards. So if we see a rejection from the resistance and the price breaks down from the current structure, uh, we might see a retrace back to the 2,800 to 2,850 levels before we can bounce back up and retest local highs. Now, do I think that 2,600 and 2,700 regions are also probable? I'd say that it's a probability, but it's very, very unlikely. Now, what's more likely is that we uh, continue consolidating within this triangle. We break out of the 0 0.618 resistance, retest it in the form of a pullback before we can move upwards to retest uh, historical highs. Um, and looking at the indicators on Ethereum, we can see that the RSI has been forming lower highs and lower lows. So a breakout could be anticipated. Um, and if we look at the other indicators that demonstrate momentum as well, we could probably see a golden cross take place if we do see a breakout from the current pattern that we are seeing. So overall, heading to September, crypto is going to be very, very bullish. But remember to always manage your risk and trade based on probabilities. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to smash the like button. Subscribe for more content, especially if you want to see more videos like these where I analyze more altcoins. And I'll see you guys in the next video.
Thank you.